pages and don't mind me looking crazy my hair my leave out is freshly straightened so it's not laying down i need to tie it down but anyway now i'm about to go into walmart because i need a graphic tee and i think i need some bleach and i think that's it and i might see if they got um some men jeans in here that i like because i love oversized men jeans and i need a lighter color because if they do then i'm gonna wear that today and do it like an ott o o t d so yeah y'all I'll be right back. I'm not going to record. This one is ghetto. I'm not going to record it. Hold on, hold on. I'm in the Walmart. I'm in the men's section. Is it me or does only the men's section have the big graphic tees for the women in Walmart? Say like FUBU. When did FUBU come back out? I really wish I would have bought my candy. I really wish I had my battery charge. Oh, they have this Ricky Morton shirt. Oh, so cute. Super cute. I'm not the color I'm looking for. I just need a black, cute graphic tee. Let me show you all the kind of jeans I get, though, because I get brain first. And if you know, you know. I'm from the country, so I know. Hold on, let me look for her. My skin actually looks good. Y'all see this? Trying to stop. I never get bumps on my forehead. I don't know what's going on. I think my skin is purging. Because if you haven't seen my skincare video, go watch it. I started using um, some Urban Skin RX, but it's only been a week. Um, yeah, I got it Saturday. So this this will make a week. Today will make a week that I've been using it. And I think my skin is starting to purge because I got all these gucky bumps popping up. But um, oh, before I pull out, I could not find Wrangler. I don't know where Wrangler was at. And I could have been missing it because I was rushing because I'm on a time crunch with myself. I wanted to be somewhere else by 10. But I ended up getting, which I'll show y'all a bigger clip of it. I'm going to pull it up. The regular fit hip and thigh straight leg, the George kind. They were $11. But this color jean is so pretty. Um, I'm probably going to wear it today, honestly. I don't know if I'm going to put cuts in it. But for anybody that wants to know, I wear a size six in women, but I also wear a size four, depending on the stretch of it. Um, but my main size is, I guess, a six. I wear a size nine, and I guess youth. So, and I have a butt, but no hips. So I would be a size thirty in jeans, technically, if my waist was just a little flatter. Um, but because it's not flatter, I'd be needing to get a size thirty-two. Um, and then a the space in the back, like it'll be space in the back. But I like that fit, that type of menging. I don't like it tight. I like it loose in the waist. I think that's very cute. So I wear a 32 and then my length is a 30. I could wear a 32 length if I'm wearing platforms. They're going to drag with regular shoes. I got to wear platform shoes. I'm like, I went to the doctor this say I'm five, four and a half, but I'm, I, to me, I'm five, five. So that's just it. Five, five. Um, I look tall because my legs look long but um yeah so that's just if anybody's trying to figure out kind of their size and men i would suggest going and trying them on if you can or going thrifting and seeing and always remember men jeans don't have any stretch in the butt so sometimes it'd be that like oh my gosh sometimes i can't wear a 30 because it's no stretch in the butt and my butt poke so yeah i'm about to go to my job which i'm not gonna show y'all where i work because i have to do something there and then i'm going home carrying all this stuff in the house and then getting myself together to go on the adventures today which i'll be vlogging on my camera for that so all right so i'm back in the house and i just like showered put my contacts in i took all my way i got <laughs>
Filming a video. See? Tell them what you went and did today. He went and showed a house, y'all. Woo! I look like a brand new girl. So Tony is DIYing do it yourself a shirt for me that ooh this way I had saw on TikTok so he's doing he's outside doing it for me. Let me show y'all. He's playing his own music so I'll just I'm just gonna speed it up because it's gonna be copyright. camera rolling what you looking for no he had a black one too but I thought that was yours oh yeah I got it from five and below let me not cuz that they dog be shitting yeah her ass need to mind her business I heard you. That's why I said her ass need to mind her business. She know damn well. All right, Jules. So we're about to be on our way down the road, and we're stopping by the Dutch. Oh, oh. Down the road, like a lot of people know what that is. Well, Calvert County, and we're stopping by the Dutch Market. I got this. Probably hasn't came out yet, but I don't know if this video is gonna be out. But it's up re uploaded. Sea moss. My dad wanted sea moss to try. So, well, I'm pretty sure I know that sea moss video is going to be out before this video. So, and then I have my little snack, which is turkey, pepperoni, mozzarella, and pretzel crackers by Tool House. So, we're on our way down the road with a late start. But we're going to get there. I don't want to vlog on my camera because I would have to tote it around. And I don't feel like toting it around while I'm in here. So I'm just gonna vlog on my phone. Cupcakes, y'all. These are their homemade bread. I don't know if they want about to get some bread to try, but oh, and they have homemade dinner rolls. Right. Chicken pie pie soup. Like all this is homemade, guys. Yeah, it's the ingredient. Yes, you just pour it in the pot and cook it. Ooh, I used to love peanut butter cookies. Too bad I'm allergic. I want to get something for Tony. Something that he'll like. Oh, they got herb and cheddar biscuits. Hello. All right, y'all. We just came out of the farmer's market and we both got these smoothies. It's like every fruit in them. And then it's spinach and kale. I just make it easier, make the line go by faster. I just told him give me whatever he got, so they could just make it in one thing. But as y'all saw, this one is located in Upper Marlboro. This is our first time at this one. It's I, we usually go to the farmers market in Baltimore, 
but we tried this one. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. I don't I don't like that it's super sweet, but it is not that sweet. It is. For me making my smoothies with just water, I don't even put yogurt in my smoothies. But yogurt's good pro probiotics. And then I said they should have used honey or agave. Yeah, they put sugar in there. They just put, I don't know what kind of sugar Most it is. Do use sugar that just sweeten it to blend the fruit. I don't want all that. My fruit, the fruit is sweet enough. Like it's mangoes in here and everything. That's sweet enough. Strawberry. No, but it's to balance the flavor because we got sweet fruits and bitter fruits. And then we got that, the um, leaf green, like spinach and kale. Mm. What are the fruits? Hmm. A piece of kale top. Well, the fruits are fresh because it's the Amish market, so it was fresh fruit that they put in. But now we got to go to this crab, crab place that he wants to try. Mm. But y'all, don't sleep on the farmer's market, the Dutch market, or the Amish market. I guess they all the same thing because the food in there that they be selling, like they fried chicken, they wings, they corn dogs, they pretzels, they desserts. Is bomb. Grandma's, which I already know she about to talk some stuff when we go in here. Cause that's just what she do. She just talks crap. Can't be the Walmart. Denzel put me on the Walmart. Oh yeah, he be in there wrangling. Yeah, I got some wranglers too. I said I need to go in there and try to get men's size it up so I can figure my size out. Oh, where did where did you say you went? Um, King Crab. King of King, King Crab, like King Crab. It's new. I took a, I'm doing a TikTok for it too, but um. Yeah, and then try to charge you $20 for Y'all, this is what it's like it's recording. So I just recorded a skin unboxing. Make sure you follow my TikTok. I, TikTok, TikTok, I finally posted as a short. And I was getting ready, so that's my little makeup bag. I got these little briefs from them. And then this was my little setup. But let me show y'all, and y'all, please don't play my phone on mine. It's a little dirty. But let me show y'all these briefs right fast that I have on right now. Let me set y'all up. Y'all know today I'm going to a fashion show. So I'm already like dressed and my makeup and stuff is done. But look how these skims put you together. Like, this skims is bomb. Like, it is bomb. It, like I was on earlier around, but my, I have underwear on. But like, this is perfect for under these um, like summer dresses or whatnot. So I'm gonna make this into a short, and it's also gonna be on my TikTok. So if I'm not posting on YouTube, which is only twice a week, every other day I'm posting on Instagram or TikTok, and I'm always on Twitter. Like Twitter is undefeated for me right now. So I'm about to finish. Well, I'm about to show y'all. Um, what I'm about to wear to the fashion show. So, let me show y'all that the outfit I did. And I'm also filming a TikTok for that too. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. So, let me show y'all my full outfit. Matchstick pants from Amazon. The shirt is handmade by Tony. I got from Walmart. My Nike Dunks. Puffer is from Shein. And then this is from his line. Toxic. Tony's line, which I will put in the description box so y'all go 
follow him and support him because he's trying to get his um it's a black business off of the ground so i love this bag and my brother actually hand painted these on here he has a whole bunch of bags comment down below if y'all want me to show y'all the bags because i can have tony on here and we could do that for a video but that's the fit so we're about to go to the fashion show <laughs> So I don't know what happened to the footage. I closed out this vlog. I promise y'all I did. I closed it out. It was me and Tony. I don't know what happened, but it did not save to my memory card on my camera. So it's gone. And I'm just coming here to close out this vlog. Stay tuned for the next vlog. It's gonna be lit. Because as y'all can already see, I already started preparing myself for my graduation pictures tomorrow. And that is gonna be the next vlog. Is you know me getting my hair done, which is under this, my nails, my toes. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell too much. I ain't gonna tell too much, and it's gonna be the photo shoots for the pictures too. So just stay tuned and keep watching your girl. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.